Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is all about the KDE server. So are you like me who can't even remember the Nginx configuration and even after getting it from somewhere, it's really hard to implement on the Nginx configuration file. Now, here comes the KDE. So you can see this is a KDE server running at localhost 8000 and responding some HTML content. But along with this, the mind-blowing part of Caddy is it provides SSL even on your local host. It's really mind-blowing. And over this, as I told you, I really hate the configuration of Nginx with Caddy. Now, you just need to write three lines and that's done all configuration to have this kind of setup for you. Isn't it really mind-blowing? So let's see how we can set up all these caddy thing in your local and have this local setup with SSL. So caddy is a powerful web server for enterprise level application and it provides the SSL by default and it's really easy to set up. The important thing to notice here is that this caddy is written in Go language. So you can feel how fast it is and how modern this caddy server is. To get started with this, let's go to the documentation and now let's start with the installation. Now caddy is so amazing that it is available in all platform. You don't have to worry whether you are using Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu or any other one. So it's really, really easy. Now I'm going to show you how we can set up on the Mac OS because I'm using it right here. But you don't have to worry about that because as I said, it's available everywhere and configuration is exactly same in each kind of operating system. So let's get back and here on this brew install, copy this and go to the terminal. And by the way, I'm using the WAP terminal, which is really mind blowing. So you can see very fast it's now ready. So you can say caddy and say help and now you got the caddy installed. This is so easy to install. And now we need to do the setup. How we can do that? Once again let's go to the documentation. So scroll up and here we have the getting started. So to get us started with caddy we need to remember few of the commands which are extremely extremely simple. One is the run then another is start somewhere it's not given here by the way i can get all the caddy command by writing caddy here and we have these four three commands which really needed one is the caddy run the reload and the stop now about the run so run is going to start the process but it will have the process in the foreground not in the background but the start is doing the same thing but all the process will go on the background and that's why we have a stop to kill the process or stop the caddy process. Okay, these three are really really simple and easy and most important command in the caddy. So let's now go and there are various ways to configure the caddy server. You can use JSON, you can use caddy file and the most common is the caddy file. So how to use the caddy file? So here it's given using caddy file. Now, what you need to do? You just need to create a caddy file with a capital C without any extension and start writing your configuration. So easy. So first off, I'm going to use this one. So I say vim caddy file, nothing else, no extension, just caddy file with capital C. So here I will simply say localhost colon 8001 8001 and then I will say respond with hello caddy from Bitfumes. Okay, let's save this file and verify that everything is good. Now I need to run caddy run command. Once you run this command, it's having a lot of output, but important thing is if you go on localhost 8001 you should see something but it's not given here. So why is this? Why localhost 8000 is not working? Am I missing something? No, everything is fine, but you can see it's now giving me the SSL with HTTPS. That means I need to say that this localhost 8000 must be HTTPS 
when I want to use. And once I have the HTTPS, you can say Hello Caddy from Bitfilms is here and the connection is now secured. And now I need to return the full HTML instead of just the text here. So how we can do that with the caddy or caddy file? So first of all, I need to kill the caddy run and then I will open the caddy file and just above the response we have, I'm going to write the headers. So I'm going to say that the content of my response is going to be some HTML. So first of all, I will say, hey, this is going to be uh, like here, header and then content type and the content type is text slash html and make sure we are having the hyphen between the content and the type now once you have it just save this file and this time instead of caddy run we are going to use the caddy start so i say caddy start and this is going to be the same thing as the caddy run but all the process will go on the background so you are free and now this time if i reload you can see we are having the caddy Hello Caddy from Bitfumes. But I'm not sure if it is really HTML or not. If I inspect it, yes, I can see there is a body and in the body we have this. But I really want to be sure if I return the real HTML. Or let's have the h1 tag for it. So I say h1 tag and here I will once again say h1 tag closing and save this file and this time to tell the caddy that hey we have made some changes in the caddy file do you want to read and show me the updated version so for that i need to say caddy i can stop and restart but there is another thing called reload reload is going to stop it and restart once again so that caddy will know the changes and now if i reload you can see it says hello caddy from bitfumes and everything is secure this is really really mind-blowing thing in the caddy I told you that caddy is extremely simple and in three lines you can start server but not only just starting a server and responding you can create the reverse proxy too so let's open the caddy file one more time and this time I want to run the 8001 but I want to re reverse proxy this to my next year's application so how we can do that one more time first off I will create a new next year's application and i will use all the default one and this time it's going to take not much time and i go with the cd my app npm run dev and this is going to start the localhost 3000 obviously and we know everything is going to be extremely fine here is the next year but now what if i want to get out of this directory and then i say hey I want to change the caddy file and this time this caddy file should have a reverse proxy. So I say hey remove everything from here like this and then I say reverse hyphen proxy to colon 3000 and that's it. This is the only thing you need to do and finally caddy reload and now it says there is some issue. It says, did you mean to start a second site? Mm, I don't want to do that. Maybe I have missed something. So let's open the caddy and here is the reverse proxy with underscore. Okay, so let's go ahead here and make it underscore and reload. That's good. Now this time I'm going to reload the localhost 8000 and see Versal is here. Now. Some of the things are not loading because we have not yet fully configured everything the static files the css javascript loading here everything is not yet configured in caddy but i can just show you that hey reverse proxy is extremely easy but in a single caddy file you can define multiple websites so now let's again remove this uh, what's this next year's application and this time in the caddy file I'm going to use a block of the statements now first of all I'm going to remove this uh, not everything but like this and then I will say hey I want to say localhost colon 8001 
then you will say Sarthak what different you are doing. I'm going to do a block by defining that inside the curly braces and then I say hey this is here this is here and I'm going to close it with the curly brace once again. So have some kind of formatting and then caddy reload and that's good but it says that caddy format is has to be there because it's not yet format okay that's done reload once again that's good and this time if i'll reload hmm, not working why i already have the https so, so there's some issue we can figure it out by saying caddy file is good oh yeah because now we don't have the uh, next.js server running so once again we get back with the respond of h1 tag with hello world from caddy and like this cool so you can see it's really hard or it's not uh, fun to always do the caddy reload now instead of caddy reload what i can say caddy run but give a flag of watch so this is going to watch all the caddy thing if caddy file if we are making any changes it will going to uh, run it once again but once again it says something so first of all i need to stop the caddy and then use the caddy run watch and that's great so it's running and now i will open the new pin and here i will say caddy file and have uh, exclamation mark at the top and once i save it you can see it has reloaded the server and boom everything is here but I was going to tell you about how you can serve two site with single caddy file. So it's going to be super easy. Just copy this, paste it, change the port. So instead of 8001, I will say 9001. And this time it's like, hello world from Bitfumes. Save this file. And once again, it's auto restarted. So caddy file is there, but the next one is 9001 is hello world from bitfumes hello world from caddy both are really working at the same time from a single caddy file it's amazing now here on both of the site what we are doing we are returning our html directly from the response but this is not practical we always need a index.html file Hmm, how we can serve that index.html from the caddy file so first of all let's copy this hello from caddy hello world from caddy go out and create an index.html file and paste it and save this file okay so now we have the index.html and let's configure caddy to read that so i'm going to remove everything from here and this time i'm going to say here file underscore server and this is going to be the browse feature and now i will save this file it's automatically reloaded and let's see what's going to happen on the 8001 now 8001 is here and 9001 is also working and 8001 is having this double quotes because in our html this is the double code we have used so now let's fix this index.html and remove this double quotes and as soon I have removed, reload the file and reload the page actually and caddy file is serving directly from an HTML file. This is a, once again a mind blowing feature. But what if you are having an HTML file or your project inside any directory? How do we do that? So for that, I'm going to uh, edit the next site we have and this time I'm going to say hey I want to remove these things and once again I will say serve the uh, file serve but when I say file serve it's actually going to find the HTML in the root where the caddy file is situated now instead of this I need to define where is the root of my project so I will say root is going to be inside my web directory so I already have created a my web directory and index.html inside that and that's why we have this hello from directory or dir. Now everything is good now reload this page and you can see this is not showing the content. Why? 
because yes we have defined the root but we have not told our caddy that hey you need to find the server and browse it okay so let's once again do that and finally here I say file server is going to be the browse okay let's do that and reload boom hello from dir directory dir whatever you want to call but it's working so you have seen how simple and easy this caddy is to set up and in just few lines we have done a lot of things which nginx or apache takes long long form of coding so that's about the caddy and let me know if you are using caddy or not because it's HTTPS I'm going to definitely use it on my local server and I'm going to create more videos about the caddy sure but if you want any other concept to explain you I'm going to create video on that so just comment below your views about this video your request and don't forget to follow me on other platforms and subscribe to Bitfilms YouTube channel see you in the next video